Instead of focusing on winning arguments, we're teaching the basic fundamentals of sales and marketing and how we can use them to win in the world of politics, teaching you how to meet people where they're at on the issues they care about. Welcome to The Brian Nichols Show. Hey there, folks. Brian Nichols here on The Brian Nichols Show, and thank you for joining us on, of course, another fun-filled episode. A little bit different of an episode, much like the past week. Uh, We are doing things solo this week, and today we are going to be going through and digging into the Supreme Court's recent dropkick decision to the Chevron Doctrine, and this episode, I'm just, I am so excited because this is a game changer when it comes to how the government bureaucratic state interacts with each and every one of us. Now, I know what you are all thinking, Brian, come on, it's summertime, you were talking about going on vacation, and now you're talking about, you know, we're, we're overturning a 40-year-old legal doctrine when you and I, we should, all should be lounging by the pool. Uh, well, let me tell you, this isn't just any old court decision. This is literally the kind of ruling that's going to reshape the entire political landscape, and frankly, like the entire government power infrastructure in America. So, uh, put down the margarita, Pick up the cardio miracle, pay attention, because this literally affects every single one of us. So <clears throat> let's start with the basics. Brian, what is Chevron deference and why should we care? So imagine this you are running a small fishing business, just trying to make an honest living. And then suddenly, some bureaucrats from the National Marine Fisheries Service just show up and say, Hey, uh, you you gotta pay us seven hundred dollars a day, so we can watch you while you work. And then you ask them where they get the authority to demand that of you, and they basically say, "Because we said so." That that sounds like it's like straight out of a bad mafia movie. I know. Um, well, folks, that is literally. What happened um, to the Loper Bright in, uh, Enterprises? And and get this, there, there was no law giving these bureaucrats the power to do this. They just literally decided to start doing that in 2013. How's that <laughs> for for, uh, for government overreach? Now, you might be scratching your head and thinking, well, Brian, how in the hell did <laughs> did they get away with that? And let me introduce you to the nightmare that was the Chevron deference. So, back in 1984, the Supreme Court basically handed the keys of the kingdom to the federal agencies. Um, They said, you know, hey, these bureaucrats, they're the experts. Um, We we should just trust in their interpretation of the law. And for the past 40 years, that's exactly what's been happening. It's, It's like giving your teenager not just the keys to the liquor cabinet, but like the deed to the house. And while you're at it, let's just give them some credit cards. I mean, what what else could go wrong? Let, let's give them, you know, some lighter fluid along the way. So let's break this down, right? So Chevron deference meant that when a law was ambiguous, courts had to defer to that agency's interpretation of that law as long as it was, quote unquote, reasonable. Now, reasonable, uh, that means nothing. That That could literally be as whatever definition the agencies wanted it to be. And this Chevron deference nonsense is exactly how we ended up with OSHA trying to enforce everyone to get jabbed back during the COVID-19 pandemic or face losing their jobs. It's how the ATF decided a piece of plastic was suddenly a machine gun. And it's how like the NCRS can look at a puddle and be like, yep, that's protected wetlands now. Like, uh, just imagine if your local cops could just like arrest you for literally anything they felt like, and no judge or jury could question it at all. And that essentially is what Chevron deference was doing to our entire legal system. It was a bureaucrat's wet dream and like every normal person's nightmare, frankly. Um, but here's where we have the good news, right? So the Supreme Court. They just took out this unconstitutional abomination, and and they just completely axed it. And and frankly, like it, it's about damn time. It the, it took forty years, is insane. Um, and I can already hear you know some folks saying like, but Brian, isn't this just like some obscure legal doctrine? Like, how does this impact me? I, you know, personally. Well, let me tell you, it's it literally impacts all of us, every single one of us. It. 
it's about deciding who gets to decide what the law means. It's it's is is it going to be a bunch of unelected bureaucrats who have their own agenda, or is it the courts doing the job that the Constitution assigned them? So think about it. like every regulation that affects your life from what you do with your property to the light bulbs you can buy to how you run your business, like all of that, every single bit of it has been influenced by Chevron deference. It's given agencies completely free reign to expand their power like far beyond what Congress ever gave them permission and frankly ever and ever intended. But one knows what happens once you give the federal government some power, what ends up actually happening. So let's look at the, this case here that finally brought down this monster of Chevron deference. So I mentioned earlier, we got the Loper Bright Enterprises. They're a family fishing business and they were being driven to literally the brink of bankruptcy because they couldn't afford the $700 per day that they were being charged by the National Marine Fisheries Service to monitor their company. And here's the real kicker. So the federal law doesn't authorize the NMF NMFS to charge businesses for this. They just decided to start doing it. Why? Be- be- because they could. Because they could. Because Chevron deference meant they could interpret, interpret, interpret the law to mean whatever they wanted it to mean. And the courts, per Chevron deference, had to go along with it. And this right here, this is the kind of overreach that Chevron has been enabling literally for decades. And it's how the federal agencies have been able to create rules like just completely out of thin air and force all of us to comply. It's how they've been able to expand their power far beyond what Congress ever authorized. But now... The party's over. And let's give credit where credit's due. The Supreme Court, led by Justice Chief Roberts, uh, you know, again, credit where credit's due. He took the sludge hammer and the rest took the sludge hammer to this whole rotten decision. They said, and I'm paraphrasing here, enough is enough, right? It's time for the courts to do their job. And it's time for us to actually interpret the law, not just rubber stamp whatever the agencies are saying. And likewise, it's time for Congress to actually stand up and do their job and start writing some freaking laws. Now, here's the kicker. We got to be ready for whatever comes next because, hey, folks, I want to take a moment to talk about something that has truly changed my life, and that is Cardio Miracle, our incredible studio sponsor. Now, I'll be honest, when I first heard about Cardio Miracle and their claims about improving heart health, I was skeptical. But after using it for just about two months, I was absolutely blown away by the results. First, my blood pressure went from being consistently around 140 over 90 to a much more healthier and manageable 120 over 80. And my resting heart rate dropped from the low 70s to the high 50s. And I couldn't believe it. But the benefits didn't stop there. I started sleeping better and I felt more energized at the gym, and my heart felt the best it's felt in years. And it's not just me. Hundreds of you, our amazing listeners, have reached out to share your own incredible experiences with Cardio Miracle. So, what is Cardio Miracle, and how does it work? It's a carefully crafted supplement that harnesses the power of nitric oxide to support optimal heart function. So, by increasing nitric oxide levels in your blood, Cardio Miracle helps relax your blood vessels, improve circulation, and it protects your heart from damage. It's like giving your heart the support it needs to function at its best. And here's the best part. We've got an exclusive offer just for you, our loyal listeners here at The Brian Nichols Show. When you head over to CardioMiracle.com and use code TBNS at checkout, you'll get an extra 15% discount on your order. Plus, with their 100% money-back guarantee, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, if you're ready to take control of your heart health and experience the life-changing benefits of Cardio Miracle for yourself, just click the link in the show notes or video description. Trust me, your heart will thank you. And don't wait another day to prioritize your health. Join the tens of thousands of folks who have already discovered the Cardio Miracle difference. Head to CardioMiracle.com now and use code TBNS for 15% off your order. Your journey to a happier and healthier heart starts today. And now, let's get back to the show. Don't just take my word for it, but I mean, let's just be real, right? Like, this isn't the end of this. (laughs) 
that <laughs> this is likely just the beginning because the administrative state, the the bureaucratic state, they're not just going to roll over and play dead. They are going to fight back, and we need to be ready. Uh, I, I mean, we we haven't even begun to feel the full effects of this decision yet. This ruling is going to be used for years to come to roll back federal overreach, and it's going to reshape our entire landscape of administrative laws. And you, you know what? We're all, we're all going to be better for it. But of course, there's going to be politicians and the media lap dogs out there who are freaking out, and they're seeing... They're seeing the power slip away, right? This is this is power slipping away, and they don't like it one bit. Um, but again, this is why we need to be vigilant <laughs> and look for the the loopholes, look for those agencies who are trying to take advantage. So let let's now talk about what this means going forward. So first of all, it means agencies are going to have to actually justify their actions based on what the law says not just <laughs> what they want it to say. So that means when you're facing down some bureaucrat who's trying to regulate your business out of existence, you actually now have a fighting chance in court because you can actually say, this is crazy, I'm, I'm fighting back, because you couldn't do that before. Again, Chevron deference. It also means that Congress is going to have to step up, um, like I said before, like no more passing vague laws and then just saying, okay, three-letter agencies, you fill in the blanks. Um, like if they if they want to give these agencies powers, they're gonna have to like actually be clear about those powers. And frankly, that's exactly how it it's supposed to be. Um, like our our elected representatives are supposed to be the ones who are making the laws. That's like schoolhouse rock, you know, like legislative branch, they make the laws, con- you know, Congress, yes, they make the laws. And then the president, the executive branch, he, he, they enforce the laws. And then the judiciary, they interpret the laws. Yeah, like that's how it's supposed to work. Um, not, <laughs> not just some random unelected bureaucrat like Anthony Fauci. But here's the kicker. This, it's not just about reigning in government power. And this is the other part. It's about actually restoring some balance um, back to our system of government and making sure that the government, especially in these three-letter uh, three letter agencies, they're actually responsible and accountable to us, the voters, not to the, the entrenched government bureaucracies. Um, now, going forward, some stuff you just need to know. First of all... Um, like, stay informed, right? Know your rights. So when some random bureaucrat knocks on your door telling you you can't do something, uh, ask them to show you the law that says so. Like, stand up for your rights. Second, get involved. Uh, let your representatives know that you you expect them to write clear laws, not to pass the buck to some random three-letter agency. So support candidates who understand the importance of limited government and frankly, the rule of law, right? And third, most importantly, do not be afraid to fight back. If you think an agency is overstepping its bounds, challenge it. With Chevron gone, now you actually have a real shot at winning. And again, I'm not going to lie to you folks. This this fight isn't over. Just like the Biden debate disaster and him just completely 404-ing on stage, like there, there's still a, a fight to be fought there. Likewise here, the bureaucrats are not just going to go and give up their power without a fight. This is literally why they exist, is to continue to grow their power infrastructure. So we're going to see a ton of pushback. And there's going to be a lot of attempts uh, to, to create new loopholes um, or create new doctrines to to replace Chevron. So we, we got to stay vigilant on this. But the the good news, beyond the fact that this just horrible, horrible Chevron deference is now gone, is we also have the momentum on our side. We've got the Supreme Court that seems to understand the importance of getting government power in check. Awesome. And now we've actually got the Constitution on our side as well. So remember, the founders didn't set up a system of government so unelected bureaucrats could run our lives. They didn't create it so Anthony Fauci could tell us what we need to do. They didn't create it so you know all these different three-letter agencies can can do whatever the hell they wanted. They they create a system of checks and balances where power is divided and limited. And what Chevron did was threw that system out of whack. And now we have a chance to actually fix this this completely disrupted artificial swing of power that had gone to these unelected bureaucrats. So, 
If you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get to work, um, I'm challenging you. Go back again. Go through, uh, number one, uh, like I said, stay informed. Two, get involved. And, and number three, uh, don't be afraid to fight back. Um, let, uh, that's how we're going to win. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm personally, I'm afraid of what we're seeing happen in the world. Like, if we don't start speaking out and, and now officially holding our representatives to account, like... If we don't start engaging in these these important debates, I'm I'm frankly afraid of what world we're going to leave for our kids. Like now, it's on these guys and gals in Congress to actually listen to us when we have a concern about like, hey, maybe we shouldn't have uh, you know red dye forty. You're right, right? Like now, you can actually talk to your representative about that and not just hear them say, "Well, I I defer you to." The, the good sir or madam from the the FDA, right? Um, or, you know, hey, maybe we shouldn't have gliophosphate in our water. Um, or, or, like, maybe we shouldn't have fluoride in our water. And then, like, hey, I defer you to the good folks over at the... Uh, the, the, the EPA, right? Like, that that excuse is gone now. So, um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that now we have a system that we can start to rein back some of this power from these unelected bureaucrats uh, because the system we have now is not the America I want my kids growing up in. And I, I frankly, I don't think anybody else does as well. So hopefully this is bringing back some common sense to our legal system. Let's bring back to some more common sense uh, and conversations about our, our government power uh, overreach here, right? Like, And some reality, frankly, because we need to start building a future that we we can be proud of today, but also that we can leave to our kids and know that it's, it's not going to go back to what it has been. Um, so I know, okay, uh, going back to Chevron, I know this has been a lot. We unpacked a lot today. Uh, I covered a lot of ground. But um, you're going from the very basics there, I hope you understand what Chevron deference was um, to why it went away uh, and what this means for the future. Because... Uh, this is a very important, very important watershed moment. Um, you know, not just just for you know the fight for liberty, but just uh, taking back some of this power from the administrative state, putting it back where it belongs. Um, you know, back in the hands of the people via the the elected representatives. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. So as we wrap up uh, this special summer episode, a uh, couple of key things. Uh, yeah, first, Chevron's dead. That's awesome. Uh, that's a good thing. Second, the fight isn't over, right? Again, just the beginning. And third, you have a role to play in shaping what comes next. Um, so again, educate, enlighten, and inform. That is the goal here. We play at the Brian Nichols Show. I hope that today's F episode left you educated, enlightened, and informed because, uh, yeah, we don't want these unelected bureaucrats thinking they have some right to push you around. They don't, and now you know why. So uh, with that, we are going to wrap up our deep dive into the Chevron Deference Smackdown. If you found some value from today's episode, please go ahead and give it a share. When you do, tag yours truly at B Nichols Liberty. You can find me on Twitter, x.com, Facebook, or Instagram, and of course, you can uh, find more content like this where you enjoy your podcasts or your video content. So if you're listening to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube Music, wherever it may be, hit that subscribe button. And for the video version of the show, you can find us on YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, or Facebook where we are uploading the video version of the show in its entirety. Please subscribe and hit that magic notification bell and continue the conversation. Head down below into the comments and let us know your thoughts. Do you think this ruling is a win for Liberty or are you worried about the potential unintended consequences? Either way, I want to hear from you all perspectives, whether, of course, you're from our good friends on the progressive left, uh, our friends in the libertarian right, or somewhere in between. So as always, please support our amazing sponsors. They are the ones who support us, like Cardio Miracle, Ebel's CBD, Liquid Freedom Energy Tea, and more. They are the ones who make this show possible and uh yes to allow us to continue bringing you all of this fun and crucial content so that's all we have for you folks today this is brian nichols signing off we will see you on wednesday some more uh yes solo episodes to wrap up the week while i am on vacation until then stay free and we'll see you next time thanks for listening to the brian nichols show find more episodes at brian nichols show.com 